And first at five, every little bit counts. Three major San Antonio companies coming together to address concerns over the high temperatures we are seeing now and will continue to see over the next few days. CPS Energy, SAWS, and Via say they are taking measures to reduce energy loads as extreme temperatures challenge the Texas power grid supply. Alicia Barrera is live with more about the city's efforts to keep the power on. Good afternoon. Well, the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, or better known as ERCOT, um, is in which they manage the majority of the Texas's power grid. They're saying to keep conserving energy until 8 p.m. So we have about three more hours. And what does that look like? What can you at home do? That means not running your washer, dryer, your dishwasher, turning off lights, as well as if you do, you're lucky enough to have a pool maybe think about turning that pool pump off. But in the case of these big businesses, corporations, CPS says they're also doing their part. And with them, it looks like cutting off some lights at their buildings, as well as improvements to the circuits. The current projections indicate that the tightest hour of energy use is estimated to be at 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. So we've already passed that. But the total forecasted demand is more than 79,000 megawatts of energy, which is why SAW says they began reducing their energy consumption around 1 p.m. today by turning off pumps that put recycled water into the San Antonio River. But they're doing much more. We're going to turn off the power we get from CPS Energy and go on generators starting at 2 p.m. But the big one that we're going to do is what is uh, may have the biggest meter in San Antonio, uh, and that's our H2 Oak Center. We're going to turn that off. We're going to be able to supplement that with Edwards water. You'll still be able to use your sinks and your commodes. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Again, every little bit counts, but there's still real fear that Texas and San Antonio could once again see these rolling outages. So if it were to come down to that, we hear from CPS on how long those rolling outages could last here in San Antonio. I'll have that information for you coming up at six, as well as heading into a local business who's helping keep a big part of San Antonio cool. Reporting live, Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News.